All right guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Robbie, Quinn is behind the camera, and today we are going to be walking through my first car, my 2013 Ford Mustang. Uh, in this video, it's gonna be kind of a walk through, kind of a storytelling um, video of what the car went through. The car went through four different stages. Um, I love the car, it was my first car. Um, disclaimer, it is going to be a few older pictures and a few Snapchat videos, um, along with some newer photos and videos. Um, and the older photos are kind of eh, just because I had an iPhone 6 back then, so just be warned. Uh, but before we get into that, you can win this car um, by the end of February next year. Uh, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. All the other rules will be down in the description below to make sure, so make sure to check that out. Also make sure to check out lineagefactory.com because we have merch now. Um, all of our stuff is stupid comfortable, so make sure to go pick yourself up some of that stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure to get subscribed, get some merch, and enjoy the video. Thank you guys. All right, let's throw it back to the year of 2015. Young Robbie just got his license and was looking for his first car. And boom, he got this, a 2013 Ford Mustang in the color race red. The car had some fake Robo Sturban wheels, half of the RTR graphics, and a broken RTR front lip. Other than that, it was pretty much stock. So what is the first thing that I did? First thing I did was fit, finish the RTR stripes and fix the front lip. After that, I added the necessary American Muscle front banner, as every first Mustang owner does, and some eBay splitter rods, and went to go take my first photo shoot, which ended up, well, looking like this. A crappy, overexposed, in a field photo with a lot of stuff in the background. Woohoo. After that, I added some tent to the headlights, actually got a decent iPhone photo, and it looked like this. After my overexposed photo shoot, I dialed it back and actually took some decent photos. Um, by this time, I had added some front canards that were just made out of metal and got some interior shots as well of just the plain carbon fiber overlay of the interior with my red shift knob. Woohoo! After that, I gave my first attempt at a rear diffuser, which looked like this. It was kind of paint matched to the car, but not really, as you can see, because it's a lot of shades off of red. I then had a photo shoot with Mater, i.e. my buddy Christian C10. After my photo shoot with Mater, I added a big wing to the car. This wing was custom made by one of my buddies. It was fully carbon fiber and the entire thing weighed a solid seven pounds. So this, along with my uh, RTR stripes, my eBay splitter rods, and now my head turner's front banner, we were looking pretty decent, I think. After that, I went to V2 of the rear diffuser. This was by far my favorite version of the diffuser because it's the one that stuck on the car, well, for the entirety of that I had the car. So after this, I actually got a actual camera and went to go do my first photo shoot. And it came out like this, which I'm pretty freaking proud of, so enjoy. After this photo shoot, it was time to change some things up, so I got a sponsor and got the car wrapped. So I got the car wrapped by Top Car Wraps over in Lawrenceville, Georgia, in the color Avery Dennison's Gloss Roaring Thunder. It came out looking pretty good if you do ask me. After I got the car wrapped, I decided to sticker bomb the radiator cover, and here's like a little montage of the actual color itself. It changed everything from purples to golds to reds to pinks to you freaking name it, so here you go. I then did a poll on Instagram seeing which <laughs> I then did a poll on Instagram seeing what people liked better, the red or the color shift. I don't remember the re results, so think to yourself. Um, four parking lot shots. Uh, I actually did a good photo shoot with the car. As you see here, added my chick magnet sticker, because why not? More photo shoots, added some red outlining to the interior. Thought it was a good idea to take some photos inside my garage. It was not. Yeah. So 
then decided to do one actually really good photo shoot that ended up, you know, looking pretty good. So while y'all are seeing this montage, the car didn't really change much besides the color. Um, I added some color changing halos to the headlights. But besides that, you know, the car stayed pretty much the same as it was when it was red. Um, I was honestly not a huge fan of this wrap because it got so, so dirty so quick. Um, as you can see in this photo right here, when any dust got on it, it was, it, it just looked bland. And so ultimately I only ran that wrap for about a year and then decided to peel it off. Um, so after the color shift, the car went back to red, as you can see, um, with the headlights. Did a few photo shoots with some buddies, um, got fake pulled over by a cop, tried my luck at rollers, thank you Josh, and yeah, but the car was pretty much the same. Um, it, it just went back to red, but it was a lot cleaner red than before, it didn't have those crazy stripes going down it. It was just a cleaner, more subtle red. It also had the front GT grill now, and some better canards. After the red, um, it was time to try my luck in Plasti Dip. So when I plastic dip the car, I did not use the actual plastic dip kit. I used my own spray gun and compressor, um, but I, I ended up going with a satin black with red wheels, as you see, and the hood looks kind of janky. Oh yeah, I also wide body the car. So here's that. Uh, this is because I did not use the D DYC, different car, yeah, DYC uh, spray gun kit. I used my own, so I got these weird stripes. Um, it was pretty cool. I like the black and red, just kind of inverted of what I had beforehand it looked really good when there was no light on the car um, but other than that it was kind of janky with that hood car is still pretty much the same as it was before uh, the only real thing that I changed in this stage of the car was the interior um, as you can see I did a full I called it a casual crime scene interior it was really cool it was a, a satin white uh, base coat with red black and gold splatter uh, you know a few designs here and there a few stickers here and there I really liked it. Um, that's kind of how the interior finished out through that car. After the brief stint of the failed black and red Plasti Dip, I decided to consult my local Need for Speed game, make an Instagram post saying, I legitimately hate half this car. I'll be back when I fix that. As you can see here, I'm not joking. Uh, consulted my local uh, Need for Speed game, made a design I was happy with and boom I returned when I did not hate half enjoy Instagram post Um, this design uh, was inspired by my boredom on Need for Speed. That's pretty much the best I got, honestly. No, I mean, I always have a thing for graffiti, so just putting that on half the car, it kind of showed my personality half, you know, cool, half crazy. Did I actually just say that out loud? Half cool, half crazy. Half cool, half crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is how the design was, and this was honestly my favorite design wrap. Uh, it still got the base plastic dip. I did a few more coats to make the hood look better, as you can see. Uh, and then the design itself was actually actual paint that I put on the car. So that was a pain to rip off later down the line, but it, it turned out pretty good. Had a professional photo shoot get done, um, came out pretty good, it was pretty dark, but then I tried my luck at shooting, you know, the car myself, which turned out fantastic, so entered montage here. So a little bit about the design of the car. Um, 
It was obviously in graffiti inspired. You got some arrows going every which way. It had the JDM slash Rocket Bunny uh, King Pig Fish thing. A few more JDM inspired events. Uh, what I was really going for in the stage was to kind of kind of mold the American and JDM side that I like uh, and put it into one wrap, which I think came across great. Also, as you can see, I got some new wheels. Uh, unfortunately, these were ESR SR06s. The wheel specs were 10 and a half, no, uh, 18 by 10 and a half plus 12 all the way around. Um, I didn't want to spend $4,000 on real workmeisters, especially because it was my daily. So price you pay, still got the look that I wanted. Um, I also went with airlift suspension. It was the airlift V2 system. So really happy with how the car was sitting now. It's got the really aggressive, almost time attack looking back end, but it's still, you know, the stance in the front. Um, I've also switched out my front RTR lip for a GT500 style, I believe, front lip-ish thing. Anyways, fr new front lip, new suspension, new wheels, same back end. Um, the Japanese that you do see on the car, the one on the front, uh, front lip. That says uh, fortune favors the bold in Japanese. And then also on the side under the mirror, you see the Japanese there. It says keep going in Japanese. I then moved on and got a photo shoot with my buddy, Justin. Uh, I now have to redo that because Quinn is playing with his lizards. I then did a photo shoot with my buddy, Justin. Um, his car was looking good too. So we got a photo shoot, got some cool sky pictures in that. Uh, then had some foreshadowing with my buddies, Evo, uh, insert video clip here because foreshadowing is a thing. With that foreshadowing, um, I actually have an Evo now, so make sure to check out our built-in 10 video on my Evo currently. So after a few more photo shoots, uh, was really, really happy with the car. However, with that being said, I was not happy with the quality of the wrap. Since I used my own spray gun and not the actual DYC spray gun, I had some real issues with the wrap. Um, it was coming up in places. It was a lot thinner around the corners than it should have been. So all in all, I had to rip it off and I decided I was going to keep the design that I had, but was just going to invert the colors. As you can see here, that did not happen. I liked the clean white way too freaking much. Um, it was just so clean. It looked quite good. And frankly, uh, by this time, I had my RX-7 project car, so I was focusing more on that than anything. So the car was uh, 3M Satin Pearl White um, with Gold Flake. Uh, I don't know the exact name of it. I think it might just be 3M. Whatever. Um, so the color was 3M's uh, Satin Pearl White. Uh, I had the white wheels going, so it was just an overall really clean setup. I only had the setup for probably four months until I sold the car uh, and got my Evo. So all in all, that was the life of the Mustang. I can without a doubt say that the graffiti wrap was my favorite. Um, it, it's just such a crazy design and very much me. Um, yes, the white was stupid clean, but enjoy these last few pictures of the car and one final ending picture of me sitting on the hood with the legacy that I have created with this car. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you get subscribed so you can enter to win my Evo. Um, other than that, y'all stay original out there. Enjoy your day. See ya.